Hello, my name is Burak Antarsi. I'm an associate professor in the School of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at the University of Ottawa and the founding director of the Next Generation Communications and Computer Networks Research Lab at the University of Ottawa. I'll be presenting our work titled Machine Learning Driven Intrusion Detection for Conti KNG based IoT networks exposed to NSL KDD dataset. So, this work appears in uh, the ACM workshop on wireless security and machine learning, and it has been carried out in collaboration with my PhD student, Jingxin Liu, and my colleague, Professor Carlisle Adams. So, this is the outline of my talk. So, I'll just give a brief introduction and then uh, move to the related work and the state of the art. And, and I'll also present our methodology there. And then we'll move to the normal traffic and the uh, attack types in our work. And I'll talk about uh, how feature extraction uh, was carried out. And we'll present the performance of various uh, machine learning algorithms to classify different types of intrusions in an IoT setting. And I'm going to conclude uh, my talk uh, and also present some future directions. So, Internet of Things has several benefits in smart environments. But on the other hand, the cybercrime incidents are rising, and the security of these systems, IoT based systems, has gained more attention as they have become uh, more widely adopted. So, there have been several researchers who have studied um, the uh, possibility of applying machine learning algorithms to detect intrusive uh, behavior in, in an IoT setting. Well, in, in a uh, research study, um, the use of open data sets is uh, invaluable. An NSL KDD data set uh, offers different types of attacks, um, but the challenge here is um, involving an IoT setting is required in an open data set. So that was one of our motivations in this study. So we introduce part of the attacks from this data set to an IoT network by reproducing these attacks in Conti KNG operating systems and simulating them uh, via uh, an IoT simulator called uh, Kuja. So, how does a state of the art look? There are several studies um, that aim, aim at uh, detecting different types of attacks. In one of these studies, uh, Kuja simulator, which is a Contiki uh, simulator, is being used to generate uh, DDoS uh, attacks and also defending these attacks uh, by also testing the consistency. In another study, normal traffic patterns are simulated by using the uh, MQTT protocol and uh, Kali operating system uh, was applied, which is used to, for penetration testing uh, to generate, in that particular study, to generate botnet type of attacks. And also another study, there's another study that uses the Kuja simulator to simulate the black hole and gray hole attacks, uh, particularly targeting the six low band prot protocols. So from the standpoint of the uh, public data sets, available data sets, as I said, NSL KDD has been widely used by several studies uh, to, to validate the solutions, uh, intrusion detection solutions uh, in various settings. Now, there are four main attack types you can see uh, in the data set. So these include denial of service, remote to local, user to root, and probe attacks. So here, in this particular study, we implement uh, a part of the DOS and probe attacks, um, and we leave other types of attacks to future, um, and the, the rationale for this is the other attack techniques uh, require some application layer protocols, um, so they are not as common as um, as common as the other types of attacks that could be seen in an IoT setting. 
So that was our motivation there. Um, so we have two aims here. First, the existing IoT networks can still experience several vulnerabilities um, against the traditional uh, attacks, just like the ones that you can see in NSL KDD. So we need to um, empower uh, intelligent defense mechanisms, detection mechanisms against these attack types. And the second motivation of the study is we need to introduce attack techniques in the NSL KDD dataset into an IoT environment. So, first we create a normal an attack traffic in our simulator and we collect the network traffic data, extract the features, and then the data set undergoes several machine learning algorithms. And finally, we're going to have a say about their relative performance to each other. I'll talk about the network structure here. So we have one sync node, which could upload the collected data to a cloud server. So which receives um, UDP and TCP uh, traffic, uh, traffic at the same time. And I apologize for the uh, typo here that I have just seen. We have a single sync node and we have 10 TCP nodes, 10 sensor nodes that use TCP for uh, transmission. And we also have other 10 sensor nodes that use UDP protocol to transfer data. And we also have one malicious node as seen here. And as I said at the beginning, we implement the denial of service and probe attacks from the NSL KDD dataset and validate their impact on this uh, Conti KNG system. So for uh, the denial of service attacks, we have SYN flood, LAND, UDP flood, ping of death, and smurf attacks. For probe attacks, we have the IP sweep and port scan attacks. Okay, how do we extract the features? We uh, use an existing framework for network intrusion dataset creation that was originally introduced here in this reference, as we also cite in our paper. And we modify it to support the IP version 6 and 6 LOPAM pr protocols. And these are the feature types that um, contribute to our dataset. So the frame information, IP layer information, IP address information regarding the source and destination, transport layer information, and also the application layer information. And the descriptions are here. So if we get into the details of our dataset distribution, here's how it looks. Of course, as one would expect, majority of the traffic consists of normal traffic patterns. And the rest, as we can see here, are of different attack types. So we have IP sweep, land, ping of death, smurf, sim flood, port scanning, and UDP, uh, UDP flood attacks. So our machine learning algorithms, as you can see here, we have supervised machine learning methods and unsupervised machine learning methods. So the supervised machine learning methods are the tree-based methods, as you can see here, and also uh, other types of methods like um, support vector machines or uh, BaseNet or Naive-based. So um, these methods are compared to each other in terms of their detection performance. Um, and we, we will see some interesting results in a few seconds in the next slide. And after that, I'll also talk about how the unsupervised methods perform um, relative to uh, each other. Regarding the 
performance of supervised machine learning algorithms, we can see that the tree-based methods, namely random forest, decision tree, bagging, and gradient boosting, they are more suitable for this type of uh, problem. They perform at an accuracy level of at least 96%, and they also result in higher precision recall and F-score compared to other types of methods like naive base, support vector machine, uh, base network, or AdaBoost. So these are the results of multi-class classification, uh, by the way, and um, the precision value, for instance, um, is the average value considering um, precision um, with respect to um, each class, the average value, average precision uh, over all classes. So we can achieve at least 96% accuracy here. In terms of unsupervised methods, well, we tested k-means, db-scan, and expectation maximization. Here, the number of clusters uh, is not necessarily equal to the um, number of um, classes, traffic classes, uh, in the data set. So, k-means has six clusters here to identify these uh, classes, the normal traffic, land, ping of death, sin flood, UDP flood, and smurf attacks. And DB scan resulted in four clusters for normal traffic, land, sim flood. That's it. So we have four clusters and three um, identified classes here. Expectation maximization has four classes for these four different types of uh, traffic. And an interesting observation here is that expectation maximization outperforms its counterparts. But of course, the accuracy level here is not as high as we achieved under the supervised methods. So unsupervised methods, performance of unsupervised methods require further investigation. To conclude my talk, um, I can say we introduced uh, these uh, denial of service and uh, probe attacks in the NSL KDD dataset into an IoT setting by using the Contiki NG operating system uh, in the IoT nodes. And uh, our generated data set uh, has been tested under 11 machine learning algorithms, eight of them being supervised and three of them being unsupervised. And what we have seen is that the gradient boosting um, method outperforms the rest of the algorithms, so it uh, performs at an accuracy level of uh, 97 percent, whereas other tree-based methods perform at 96 percent accuracy. On the other hand, for the unsupervised methods, expectation maximization um, seems to be the best one. Um, in the unsupervised category, but the accuracy level uh, expectation maximization can achieve is at the order of 76%. So it needs further investigation. And our ongoing work now includes um, implementing other types of attacks related to routing protocols, uh, firmware updates, and application layer. And these are also being integrated into our data set. And also we are investigating other unsupervised methods to improve the detection uh, performance under uh, um, unsupervised uh, methods in this data set, by using this data set. So this concludes my talk. Thank you very much for listening. And this is our data set, further information, further details about our data sets. In our website, on our website, and the um, format of the data set that has been generated by using the attacks in NSL KDD. So you can uh, visit and download, uh, and there's also 
um, further explanation about the system settings and also the attack types that have been implemented here and explanation about the features. So that is also available on our website. Once again, thank you very much. Have a nice day.